Hello everyone, welcome to Monster City. My name is Smith Willie and welcome to the channel. I am your host for the channel as always, unless if there is a different host of the channel. But however, for now, I am your host of the channel. And today, we are looking at the Dango Mushi Crab. I think it might be called a box crab or something like that, I don't know for sure. Uh, I'll, I'll say in the titles what... Uh, what it is because I forgot. So yeah, here's the uh, dingo, uh, or Dan, Dango Moshi. I do not know how to pronounce the name per se. Uh, I apologize about that. But um, here it is overall. Uh, apologize about the farness of it, and the camera dolly that I have it on, my phone on that I'm recording this with, keeps on rolling away. So my hands will probably have to get into the uh, scene. So overall the detail, uh, the paint is fairly, fairly good. The paint looks uh, pretty good overall, just uh, fairly basic paint and everything for for this. Uh, the sculpt looks pretty nice as well. It looks like a crab. That's good. That's good. The uh, yeah, the sculpt is uh, very detailed. The paint, fairly detailed. They uh, had uh, dry brushed. I think they dry brushed uh, the front area a little bit. Uh, they did it fairly well. Looks pretty nice. The paint here looks... Uh, I apologize about the uh, out of view um, movements of this, but, uh, anyways, the paint looks fairly nice on the inside of its arms and everything. This looks rather nice, as well as the paint on the bottom looks fairly nice. Looks as a crab should. And there's also, uh, the eyes. They look fairly nice as well. You can kind of see that there's, uh, it's hard to see, per se. Yep. You can see that there's a detail on the eyes. And, uh... You can also see the legs. The legs have some, uh, painted detail on them a little bit. Maybe? I don't know. Wait, no, maybe not. Wait, no, maybe yes. I don't know. I don't know exactly. I think that's just the shadow of the light and such. But anyways, here is the articulation for the crab. The same articulation, of course, goes on this other arm. Yes, most definitely it does. And here's the eyes. Looks like they are on a ball joint. It's hard to see, it's hard to focus on my very long nailed fingers. The weird mandible thingies. They, uh, yeah, they're on ball joints. Uh, they can uh, go up and down and stuff and such, and also they can go a little bit backwards. You can spin them back 
probably this far. The arms stop them a little bit. But, um... Yeah, the same articulation basically goes on this one as well. I got this figure today on June 30th, 2021. His legs on a ball joint, as well as hinges. And, uh, yeah, so that is basically it for the articulation. Fairly nice articulation for such a small figure overall, and it is, uh, these things are just really awesome. Uh, they did a whole bunch of other ones, like, uh, I don't know for sure, but just recently I saw a armadillo that they were, that, uh, Bondi was working on for their uh, Dango or a uh, Dango Mushi line, uh, as as well as they uh, recently released a armadillo lizard and mouseated hornets, uh, like uh, wasps and stuff, as well as uh, other pill bugs and isopods and. Uh, Plenty of more. They they just did a whole bunch of them and uh, looks awesome. I don't think I don't know if it, I don't know how recently they did these really um per se, but uh, I think this is a little bit of an older one though. But it's really awesome though, really awesome figure. Um, but anyways, uh, hopefully all of you enjoyed this very short review. It's kind of short, a little bit of a short review, not too short, not too long. I've been on hiatus from the channel, but, uh, anyways, I'm back, per se, but however, I'm probably gonna be on another, another hiatus, per se, um, because, uh, for me, in, uh, for my standards, mostly, I just, uh, upload whenever I feel like uploading, <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you all for watching, and thank you all for, uh, uh, being such an audience, per se. And my name is Spencer Wiley, and uh, welcome to Monster City, and this came with the encasement of the crab and stuff, and it sits in it uh, when you collapse the crab. Anyways, have a nice day, everyone.